Which I can't. I got insanity practice. Ah! Ah! Okay, call me crazy, but yes. What you're seeing here is a fully functional website which is running in a browser, no HTML, no JavaScript, just straight up Qt and WebAssembly. This site was built with Qt framework and then compiled to WebAssembly, a technology that lets you run low-level code like C++ directly into the browser. It acts as a sort of bridge between the native performance and web environments without needing traditional web languages. So the C++ code runs smoothly in web with the help of WebAssembly. While this particular website is mostly static and UI focused, the logic underneath still runs through C++. It controls animation, page rendering, logic, and just with a lot of help from QML. So QML is a descriptive language given from Qt framework. It's easy to assume that a site like this must use JavaScript or HTML, but it doesn't. The UI is rendered with QML but is powered by C++. We're breaking the barrier because why not? And by the way, C++ can also handle REST APIs, authentication, HTTP requests, everything more than web apps do. It's just not used here, but it's absolutely can. This website is static, that's why those features are not used. But if you want to use such features in your browser, you can easily do that with C++. But I didn't stop there, because this wouldn't be complete without a little chaos. So, I built a 2D game using 80% C++, let's say 90% and 10% of the QML as a GUI. All the game loop, physics, UI, inputs, all written in C++ and compiled with WebAssembly. And yet, yeah, this thing runs beautifully in the browser, as you can see. If the website was about front-end design, you already saw that. But this game is about logic. Every interaction, every object you see here is managed by the code that was never meant to run in browser. But thanks to WebAssembly, it is running fine on browser. C++ isn't just for the embedded systems or desktop apps anymore. This is about expanding what's possible and making tools bend to your vision, not the other way around. So yeah, call it crazy, but I call it creative um, let's keep building weird, wild, and powerful things together. And subscribe, I'll show you how. And I just completed the tutorial for the game with the C++ and Qt framework. If you're interested, I'll recommend you go watch the entire playlist and you'll learn a lot from that because I've explained everything from scratch. So if you know C++ and basic OOP, then you'll rock it. I'll see you in. Next one.